Hi! Welcome to another part of Screens and Pixels, where I talk about some of the things I've discovered recently. First, I realised this is not a film or music or a TV show, but I found this amazing web shop that does this beautiful jewellery and I wanted to share it with all of you. As you might be able to tell, today I'm wearing a little necklace with a dinosaur and a globe and it is the most adorable thing. If you like space and dinosaur themed jewellery, go check out this web shop. Hi, sorry, it's me from the future here to interrupt this video because actually since I filmed the footage that you just saw, I've actually been in touch with the web shop Eclectic Eccentricity. One of the necklaces I already had was this moon necklace with a little spaceman on it, but they were kind enough to send me some samples as well. So I have Haley's Comet, which looks like this, and this is actually a locket that can open up. But my absolute favourite that they send me is this space shuttle and I know that Rosianna has it as well and she's been wearing it a lot in pictures and I miss her a lot so it's really nice to have the same necklace and this is the one that I definitely have had the most compliments on as well. When I got in touch with them I asked if I could do a giveaway and they said yes so I'll put all the information for that in description so if you're interested go check it out. I'm gonna go for now and let the other footage continue but don't worry I'll be back. Another thing that technically doesn't count but that I did really want to show you guys and to be honest you did request it is my silver play button. Oh my god! Um, you basically get sent this when you reach 100,000 subscribers, and so it is now proudly displayed in my room. Um, so, so, so excited to have it. I can see myself talking in it. This is basically one of the only sort of things you physically get sent by YouTube. Um, to prove that you've done a thing. Then I have a Tumblr which is called magplusart.tumblr.com and they basically take magazine covers and place them on top of classical paintings so that the heads and the bodies match up. So if you like a bit of art and if you like a bit of pop culture, this is fantastic. Uh, they recently did a great one on One Direction which I particularly enjoyed. Music-wise, I was making a spring playlist and I asked you guys for some recommendations and someone suggested Aurora with the song Runaway and I've been listening to it over and over again and I absolutely love it. It has like that whimsical touch. I also really, really like the album art. And so in the description, I'll put some of her music videos there so you can go and check it out. Hi, it's me from the future again. I want to tell you about a show that I went to see recently. I got a free ticket to go see The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. And since I read that book years and years ago and really really enjoyed it I definitely wasn't gonna say no to that they actually had quite a new cast when we went to see it so it's about a boy called Christopher who has Asperger's syndrome and one day he discovers that one of the neighborhood dogs has been murdered and he decides that he uh, wants to go investigate what might have happened to this dog and now this is a lot about how he sort of functions in society and his relationship with school and the neighborhood and also his dad who he lives with and one of the things that I thought would be quite interesting would be to see how they sort of adapt everything that he's thinking in his head which involves lots of prime numbers and diagrams and trying to figure out people's emotions how they would sort of translate that to the stage and actually what they did is that they had these giant walls that could light up and show patterns and sort of be a chalkboard while he was drawing on the floor with chalk it would show up on the wall behind him. My favorite bits were um, when he is in space and they used all the other people on stage for the special effects, so like all the people that were there would sort of lift him up. There was a set cast of about, I think, six to eight people who were all the extras in all the different scenes. I think one of my absolute favorite bits that I was waiting for is when he goes to London and he gets on the tube and he is so confused and overwhelmed. And again, the way that they showed the tube pulling into the station, which was just sort of smoke and sound, and how they portrayed a train with lots of people sort of sitting and then sort of moving at the same time to show the motion. It was all done really, really well. I had a fantastic time. There was a Q&A afterwards too. So if you're in London or you're going to London soon, I can definitely highly recommend The Curious Incident of the Dog of the Night Time. And then finally, there's one thing that I've been dying to share with you guys ever since I went there. I got to go to the sort of release of Alice Underground. It was the first day. And this is an interactive theater experience, which I had never done before. And the place where it is, is right underneath Waterloo Station in London. If you've ever wanted to jump straight into the story of Alice in Wonderland, this is your chance. I don't want to reveal too much, so I'll do a little bit of explaining of what it actually is. Basically, you were taken with a group of 52, which is basically a deck of cards, into this magical world, which is actually sort of the back end of the palace of the Queen of Hearts. It looks more like a factory with lots of steam and tunnels, and you get split up immediately, so you might not be with your friends. You have to pick eat me or drink me, and you get a card assigned to you. I was the Nine of Diamonds. Then 
then you're just taken in groups through all these amazing scenarios. Like there's characters around you, there's the white rabbit that's trying to go through different doors and just takes people and shoves them into doors. There's an amazing tunnel that is just made out of pages of books. It is one of the most amazing things I have ever done. I don't know for how long this will be running, it is just in London, but I will post the page below and if you want to experience something really special for the price of what like a medium ranged theatre ticket would cost. I could definitely recommend Alice Underground. Those were all the things I wanted to recommend to you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will talk to you guys later. Doei!